Well, overnight Saturday into Sunday, we'll be turning our clocks back an hour, and that one hour can have a big impact. Uh, for one thing, going to get dark a lot earlier. Well, an hour earlier, but it feels long, <laughs> like more than that. And as our Steve Garagiola explains, the time change can really mess with us, especially in a year already upended by COVID-19. Daylight saving time was first adopted in the United States in March of 1918, a year after we entered World War I. The purpose was to use more natural light and save on fuel. As a nation, we abandoned the plan after the war because, well, everybody hated it. The policy went back into effect during World War II for the same reason of saving energy. But after the war, it was scrapped again until 1966, when the federal government established the Uniform Time Act. Moving the clock back an hour in the fall doesn't seem like a big deal. But that time change can actually have a dramatic effect on your health. Heart attacks occur at a higher rate uh, during that Monday morning and also throughout that week, blood pressure uh, goes up. Across the nation, hospitals treat up to 25% more heart attacks and strokes on the day after the time change. The number of serious car crashes increases, not because of darkness, but because of how we are affected by darkness. The idea that we are less focused and able to concentrate is a big, big deal about when it gets darker earlier. There are way more car crashes, so it's important to be aware of our limited ability to focus and concentrate. According to Dr. Rockwell, we have a fairly consistent pattern of sleep and wakefulness. Changing the clock throws us off balance. There's something called seasonal affective disorder. So yes, it's the acronym is SAD for a reason, because we will feel more sad with less sunlight. We will feel less energetic with loss of sleep. There are things we can do to reduce the negative effects. Number one is make an effort to seek out the sunshine whenever possible. It's important that we do things, for example, like Make sure you go outside and get as much daylight as you can, even if you're taking a walk around the block. And don't wait until next week after we've already made the change. It's important that we make sure we get enough sleep, that before the clocks change, that we start adjusting maybe a few days beforehand, go to sleep earlier. It's also important when you wake up and have breakfast, have it near a sunlit window. When you go to bed on Saturday night, set your clock back one hour. And when you wake up, be extra nice to yourself. The transition is not as easy as you think. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4. Okay, Steve, another important note. When you turn your clocks back this weekend, it's also a good time to remember to change the batteries in your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors as well.